Hello, what's up? My name's Matt. Welcome to number one Shepton Walk. This is my new crib. Me, Adam and James have moved in. As you can see, we've got the Renault Sport. We've got the Golf. That's 300 brake horsepower on the driveway. See those gates? We're going to come back to those in a minute. Why don't you come on in? Come on in. Hello, welcome to the lounge. Let me just get the lights for you. Dimmable. Perfect. Come on through. Come on through. Here we have the lounge. Luxury sofa, seating for three, four, five, maybe even ten people. Further along, we've got the shot shelf. Now I know my boy Morgan loves a good shot. He's going to have a field day with all these shots from different parts of the world. We've got Budweiser World Cup there as well. Drinks fridge. You never have to go into the kitchen anymore to get your stuff. And we follow it up with the Love Island. Who doesn't love Love Island? That door links to the other house, so we don't open that one. That one will be... Just left alone. Set up, 56 inch TV with not one, but two games consoles. We've got the PS4 and we've got the PS3. Adam Snook smashed Call of Duty when he was young. He can come here, he can smash it again. Sky, so you never have to worry about pause and record, all in the box down there. And over here, we've got our hi-fi setup. We've got this little gem. I know my boy Josh Clements is a big Rocket League head as well. He's gonna love that, he'll come over here. Good bit of art. On to the next room. Hello, welcome to the kitchen. Let me get this for you. Full light, air conditioning built in, fantastic. Right, moving on. Here we've got the washing machine. Moving on to all the utility areas. As a lot of you remember from coming over to the flat, alcohol everywhere in high order, just how we like it. Now my girl Georgie loves a good bit of wine. We've got Villa Maria from New Zealand, a Sauvignon Blanc. Top, top wine. She's more than welcome to that. Now, Darren, I've got this covered just for you, mate. We've got, we've got Thornville, we've got Kinder Bueno, Smarties, Nutella. Anything you want is in this cupboard. Come on over, come on over. Moving on, we've got the cooking stuff. We've got the oven, four hobs, all with gas. Grill, oven, all in immaculate condition. This unit costs nearly £3,000. Moving on, we've got the breakfast area. In here, we've got your coffee, your tea, your sugar, and your mugs, all in the same cup. Here, the microwave. Now, referencing to my homeboy, Sam, when we were on holiday in Woolacombe, he microwaved bread. Well, guess what? <coughs> microwave bread right now. This is gonna stay here until you come over, mate. Perfect stuff. Fridge, nearly as cool as me. Here, I've got my dinner for tonight. As you'll see, already started. Perfect. And let's just get on to the next room. <laughs> there you are, come on upstairs. Wait a second, I'm six foot five and I nearly banged my head. My boy Seb's gonna really struggle. Has anyone told you he's six foot six? Cause I didn't know that. Come on up, let's have a look. Right, as you can see, lovely landing. Attic up there, quality light. Into the bathroom we go. So, we've got an extractor to get rid of all the mist. We've got this, a wonderful shower. It's like a tropical rainstorm. It's like a rapid. Nikita went to Centre Parks, loved the rapids. This is basically the rapids. Come on out, into the first bedroom. We've got Adam into his room, fantastic. Look at the space. As you can see, not quite finished unpacking. He's with his girlfriend this weekend. We'll see what happens. He should come back. New mattress being ordered next week. Rumor has it, he spent 4,000 pounds on it. Come on in. And here we've got the master bedroom. This is where your good self is sleeping. As you can see, we've got a wardrobe bigger than any wardrobe I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a wardrobe like this? Because I certainly haven't. We've got a desk where he's going to do all of his work. We've got a TV, a bed, drawers, everything. Everything you could possibly need. Now, coming into my room, I've got the smallest room, but it's by no means the worst. As you'll see, telly, perfume, spray, hair powder, a calendar with my dog on it. Fantastic. Here, a bag of ski stuff. Now I went skiing with my boy Max and all the others. Fantastic, I've got this ready for when we go again. Fantastic, right, let's go downstairs and into the garden. He's gone, let's go.
There you are. Come on through. Right, firstly, I want to show you. We've got a bathroom here. A second bathroom. Hand gel, sanitizer, perfect. Just want to highlight to you how many doors we've got. We've got one, two, three, and four. In this cupboard is a utility cupboard. You won't see it from that angle, so take my word for it. No one's getting through all of these doors at night. You are nice and secure. Now come on out. Here we have the carport. Big enough for at least two and a half cars. Now, my boy Owen, he loves customising cars. He's going to have no difficulty doing it here with all the space that's around. Fantastic. Now, what does this look like to you? To me, it looks like a few cans of cider, but to Tom, this is his dream. Dark fruit cider for days, and it's outside in the ultimate fridge because it's only two degrees out here right now. Now, as we come through, we're going to skip through all of this stuff. We've recently moved in, it will be out, and we're going to go into the garden. Hello. Welcome to the garden. Just want to show you something. We have all of our bottles on show so our neighbours know we're dangerous. Now, follow me up through, you'll see. We have a washing line. You can hang enough washing up there for every person in Bedminster. Right, as we go. Grass everywhere. You've got an all year round Christmas tree. You never need to buy a Christmas tree again because it's always there. Right, now, we've got a barbecue area there. My boy Chris, he's a professional chef. He knows what he's doing. We're gonna have barbecues there and he's gonna cook us some nice chicken with a bit of peri-peri. Now, let's come up through. As you'll see, another barbecue area. This could be the area of chilling in the evenings. Get some lights up here, no problem at all. Again, barbecues. Barbecue, 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 barbecue. Now come on in here. In here's my little den. Right. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, we've got two 165 watt Jamo D speakers. This place is going to blow up. Can you even imagine a nightlife in here? And I don't think I told you, these speakers, both of them, cost £17,000. They're going to blow up. Look, drawers, space for anything you want. Right, let's get out of here a second. Just want to show you a few final things. So, as you can see, we have got low cut hedge. Now, my boy Scott, he likes to get weirdly naked quite a lot of the time. Now, I would not suggest doing it over these low cut hedges. You can see the edge of Bristol over there. Right, I'm going to go back inside. We're going to finish this shit off. Now, I mentioned these gates earlier, they open up, you can come on through, just before you do, take a look at how powerful those rapids are, they made my foot soaking wet, come on through, come on through. Right, well, this has been MTV Cribs, my name's Matt, thanks to James on the camera, apologies Adam couldn't be here, I don't know if he's told you. He's got an Asian girlfriend now. Anyway, I'm off inside. Have a great time. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.